Okay, this is a quick down and dirty way to get two avatars walking together. Uh, what I did was, of course, create a path. Do that right here, and this is the path. Just a simple little path, got a little curve in it. And uh, then I uh, took a cube from 3D objects, just a box. I made it a dummy object which, as you remember, set as a dummy right here. That way it won't render and you can use control D key to turn it on and off as you're working. So that box I had move along the path and uh, what we did was uh, just let it meander along to the end of the path like so. Obviously, uh, you want to make sure when you uh, do your box and you attach it to a path that uh, you want to make sure it follows the path. So you check mark that box, it'll follow, and then you have to get it oriented correctly. So it's typically the minus y axis. You choose the minus y if it's a box or if it's an avatar, whatever, if you want to keep facing the correct direction. And so uh, basically we just uh, picked a couple of positions and then I click the path and now the box is going to move along the path. Now we've got two avatars and uh, a gal here and instead of attaching her or linking her to the path I linked her to the box. And uh, I can go down here and uh, see here the linkages to the box and uh, I also attached to her hand a uh, another object just a cone attached it to her hand and made it a dummy as well and uh, I call that the reach target That's this object right here simply a, a 3d object made it reach, made it a dummy so it won't render. Control D turns it on and off. And attach that to her hand right here. So uh, now at some point my uh, second avatar young guy can uh, reach and link to the hand. Now once again I also linked my uh, guy here to the box. So the link to the box. I created a simple animation for both the characters uh, using Motion Puppet. And uh, if you look close, there is a move. And the first box here is a basic walk, and that's typically for a male. And the second basic walk is typically for a female. And you can adjust motion and speed and everything here if you choose. But I rendered those two uh, motions for each of av the avatars and uh, just walking in place. And now when I link them, link them to the box, they will then follow the box. And I'm in by frame mode here a little faster. So here we go. And at some point I uh, had him look, did a little look command, and uh, then I had him uh, using the uh, reach target uh, for that eye actor. Let's see here if I can find him. There he is. Modify. And uh, using the edit reach target uh, I picked right here at this point. Uh, you can just barely see it. Come on there. Uh, he's going to reach right there to that cone and uh, a little sloppy there but uh, they could hold hands for a while and uh, at some point I uh, released the reach and uh, run about here okay released and uh, then they come to a pause and added another little bit of animation there so that's basically down and dirty it. Uh, I gave her a little bit of a uh, motion so her hand moves out whenever he reaches her hand. So they can hold hands a little better. So uh, 
That's basically it.